Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to talk about some inventory management processes in the warehouse location screen. Hey guys, this week's video comes to us from a question that I received from one of my clients that I'm currently working with. Basically, they're testing and they needed a way to adjust inventory. So, or they were complaining about, you know, they were going to the inventory adjustment module and having to adjust it in, specify the location and all that stuff. So there is actually an easier way through the warehouse locations module. So what we're going to look at today in, in this video is we're going to look at two different inventory uh, processes that you can do in the location screen. One of them is adjust the inventory. And then the second process we're going to take a look at is how to create inventory movement work uh, from one location to another. So first let's take a look at how to adjust the inventory in that warehouse locations module. All right, so first let's find out where the warehouse location screen is. So if we go into warehouse management, and then we go to setup, and then we go underneath the warehouse, and then the location screen here will get us where we're going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter down to the locations that start with Z. I've got a couple locations here. First thing we want to look at is the on hand list. All right, so I'm just going to click this Z pick uh, location, and then we can click on the on hand list here. And here you can tell what the inventory is in that uh, in that location. So one of the kind of nice features is you can go up to the quantity adjustment here and I can adjust that quantity up. So let's just say I want to put 100 in that location. All right, and if, as you can tell, what it's doing is it's just really, this is just going to be a counting journal that it's creating, but it's just a real easy way to, to create and change the in inventory here. So we're going to say okay to that. All right, so then that's completed and now we have 100 in our location. So we saw that that inventory adjustment is pretty easy. It just creates that counting journal for us and you can adjust that inventory up or down as needed. Now the next thing we'll take a look at is how we can create inventory movement work through that same warehouse location screen. Let's take a look at that now. So the next thing let's take a look at is we're going to take a look at this uh, create inventory movement work. Before we do that though, we need to do a little bit of setup. So if I go underneath uh, warehouse management, and set up and then inventory we've got this uh, menu here called movement types and I've already set up a movement type here for us so basically what this is going to do is when we generate that work movement work it needs to know what work class to put that underneath so what I've done is I've created a single code called inventory movement with a description inventory movement that's going to specify a, a movement work class ID of INV MOV so you want to make sure you have this set up before you attempt this all right, so let's go into back into our location screen. So back to setup, warehouse, and locations. And again, I'm going to filter down to my locations here. So I'm only looking at my Z locations. And let's say I want to move 100, create movement work for 100 from the Z pick over to the Z bulk location. So what I'll do is I'll create my inventory movement work. Um, it's already going to specify my location for me. My item is, is already in here. Now the quantity is how many is in the location. The quantity to be moved, I'm going to go ahead and move all 100, but you'd specify how many you'd want to move. And then the location that you want to move it to. So Z bulk is where I want to go to. And then this is where you're going to specify that movement type code. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my inventory movement code. And then we'll go ahead and create work. All right, so that tells you that the work has been created. It's in 193, so let's go ahead and look in the all work here. So we're going to go into warehouse management, work and all work. And we should have work uh, that ends in 193, which we do for inventory movement. So if we take a look at that work, we've got a pick from the Z pick location for 100, uh, moving that item to the Z bulk location for 100. All right, guys, so as we saw, we can do two things pretty easily in the location screen, which is, you know, adjust the inventory or move the, the inventory. And again, you know, this, this question came from one of my clients. So, you know, if there's any a question that you guys want me to talk about on any of these videos, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd be glad to, to look at it and discuss it on, on a video. Also, you know, I release one of these videos every week, uh, every Tuesday. So feel free to subscribe so you get notified when uh, I release a new video. And as always, if you enjoy this content, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me on YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching.